What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier, and I'm here today with your distance learning announcements. It's Wednesday, so let's hand it on over to John with sports. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your last weekly sports update. First off, let's congratulate everyone who signed an NLI for a sport, which means they have earned a scholarship to play a sport at the collegiate level. Next up in baseball, Kevin Pillar, the center fielder for the New York Mets, was hit in the face by a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. He has multiple fractures in his nose, and he was on the ground, but fortunately, he was able to walk off the field unassisted after a couple minutes, and he was talking to the press less than 24 hours later, confirming that he is doing fine and should be back soon. As for a CO sport update, the softball team has their last game of the season this Thursday, May 20th, at Sheldon High School at 4 o'clock. Good luck, ladies. And lastly, our CO baseball team plays Sheldon also this Thursday at CO at 4 o'clock, and their senior night will be next week against Davis at 4 o'clock. Come out and support. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your last weekly sports update. Thanks, John. Attention all staff, parents and guardians, and students. We're holding school site council elections this week to determine the SSC members for the 2021 to 2022 school year. If you're interested in self-nominating yourself, please check out this week's newsletter for more info. Now, well, let's learn what happened on this day in history. Hey, Wolfpack. Welcome back to another edition of This Day in History. <laughs> On this day in history, Amelia Earhart becomes the first woman to make a solo, non-stop transatlantic flight. During her adventure, she traveled over 2,000 miles from Newfoundland in just under 15 hours. She was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross by the U.S. Congress, and nine years later, she attempted to fly around the world, but her plane disappeared near Howland Island in the South Pacific in July 2, 1937. The U.S. Coast Guard picked up radio messages that she was lost and low on fuel. Those were the last words ever heard from Amelia Earhart. Oh, Wolfpack, that's all I have for you today. Back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. Well, Wolfpack, that's all we have for you today. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a terrific Thursday, Wolfpack.